Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The ratio of two non-zero positive integers does not change if 7 is added to 2 times the first integer and 5 is subtracted from 3 times the second integer which of the following is true and then we are given four statements and these statements mainly concern whether one or more of the integers are either odd or even and also if the sum of the two integers is odd and the statement four is basically stating that there isn't enough information to, to determine if, in, if the integers are individually odd or even. And then we are given five options and we have to pick the correct choice depending on which of the statements provided from one through four are, are true or not. And this is a very typical question from GMAT uh, or GRE quantitative reasoning. So how do we approach this problem? Well, we start with whatever is given, which is basically the, the ratio of the two integers. And let's denote those two integers here by x and y. And, and, and remembering that x and y are positive integers and they are non-zero. So the non-zero positive integers. So it's given that the ratio remains unchanged. So it's still x by y, right? If we add 7 to 2 times the first integer, so that makes the numerator 2x plus 7. And 5 is subtracted from 3 times the second integer. So that makes the denominator 3y minus 5. And this is kind of the equation that we have from the very first uh, line of the problem. Now, if we cross multiply, we get this relationship. 3xy minus 5x is equal to 2xy plus 7y. And then bringing over 2xy to the left-hand side, we are left with xy minus 5x is equal to 7y. And we can take x common. So within parenthesis, we have y minus 5. So we have x multiplied by within parenthesis y minus 5 on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we have 7y. Now, let's consider the possibility that y is odd. If y is odd, then y minus 5 must be even. Because we know that when we subtract 5, which is an odd number, from y, which is assumed to be an odd number, then the result must be even. Because if we, if we subtract an odd number from an odd number, the result should be an even number. And we know that any, anything multiplied by an even number, by anything I mean any integer, and in this case we have a non-zero integer, right? Any non-zero positive integer multiplied by an even number should be always even. So here it doesn't even matter if x is an odd number or an even number. If y minus 5 is even, then the product x multiplied by y minus 5 should be also even. So that makes the, the left-hand side uh, an even number. What about the right-hand side? Well, we have y, assuming that y is odd, we have 7 multiplied by y. And we know that product of two odd numbers will result in a number that's also odd. So if y is odd, then 7y must be odd. And that makes the right-hand side of the equation odd. So here we have a contradiction. And this implies that y cannot be odd. And if y cannot be odd, it has got only one other option. So y has to be an even number. And similarly, from this equation, we can actually write, if we write the equation like this, xy minus 7y equal to 5x, we can actually take y common this time and get this relationship. y multiplied by x minus 7 equal to 5x. And if we assume that x is odd, then that makes x minus 7 even, going by the same logic as we applied previously. 
which makes the left hand side of this equation even but the right hand side being a product of two odd numbers will be odd so again we have a contradiction here that suggests that x cannot be odd so if x cannot be odd x must be also even so from here the conclusion is that both the integers x and y must be even numbers so the correct option would be option b which states that only statement 2 is correct and x and y being both even clearly their sum must be also even so we can reject the statement 3 which states the sum of the two integers must be odd as false so going through all the statements only statement 2 is the correct uh, statement so the correct answer will be option b